Hi, I'm Tom Hunter. I'm the curator of the Museum Object Collection here at OHA. And today we're going to feature one of the most coolest objects in the collection, which is this right here. It's a human hair picture. So you might ask yourself, what is a human hair picture? It's simply a picture, a decoration, ornamentation made out of human hair. And uh, this one we call the Lincoln Hair Picture because it features the hair of President Abraham Lincoln. His wife, Mary Todd, his first cabinet, and also members of the U.S. Senate. It is a very interesting hair picture because it features an American eagle on top of the world. The eagle has a ribbon in its hair, has a nice floral arrangement on the bottom, including this rosette in the middle. And below that are two names, Champney and Smitten. Champney and Smitten were two Washington, D.C. barbers. And we don't exactly know if they actually cut the hair of all these folks, but they acquired it somehow. And then it was fashioned into this, this hair picture. There were two of them made. One was sold at um, a, a fundraiser for the U.S. Sanitary Commission in the spring of 1863, and the other was given to Mrs. Champney, who is the wife of one of the barbers. So if the barbers were down in D.C., you might ask, well, how did it end up in Syracuse? Well, after Mr. Champney the barber died, Mrs. Champney's daughter, Mrs. Sarah Wanamaker, was already residing in Syracuse. So she invited her mom up to Syracuse to live with her. Mrs. Champney brought the hair picture with her, and then when she passed away, her daughter, Sarah Wanamaker, donated it to OHA sometime before um, 1917, based on some bracketed dates from our accession records. So, Champney and Smitten were the barbers, and they collected the hair, and someone made this beautiful hair picture out of it. We have a key to it as well that has some painted numbers and a list of the people who are featured in the hair picture. And that's really nice, it's very helpful, and we can identify where the hair is for these well-known distinguished individuals. So using our key, we can refer to the location of the hair on the hair picture. So first of all, you might want to ask, where is President Abraham Lincoln? His hair consists of the eagle's head. It's like a little diamond-esque eyeball. And the head of the eagle features President Lincoln's hair. Behind the president's hair is his first vice president, Hannibal Hamlin from Maine. And then right behind him, if I remember correctly, is our own Secretary of State William Seward from Auburn, New York. Down here, this beautiful little rosette here features the hair of Mrs. Lincoln, Mary Todd Lincoln. It also features the hair of some of the cabinet. Um, for instance, number four which is the beak, is the Secretary of the Treasury, Salmon P. Chase. And then number five, which is also in the general area. I am trying to locate it right now. Okay, that would be the hair of Gideon Wells, who was Secretary of the Navy. And then also featured in the, uh, on the Eagle is Secretary of War, Edwin Stanton. And then we have the Secretary of the Interior, John Usher. We have the Attorney General, Edward Bates. The Postmaster General, Montgomery Blair. 
And then we also feature the Secretary of the House, um, Skylar Colfax, excuse me, Colfax. So his hair happens to be one of those bits of the wings right out on the end. And the others show up in the wing area as well. The flowers, um, the base of the world, other parts of the wings, those are made up of U.S. senators who were um, in government in the year 1863. The hair wreath is really cool. We've had it out a number of times for President's Day. Um, sometimes President's birthday combining Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday. It's been featured in articles, on the news, and in other features. It's a really, really popular and exquisite object, and uh, we really enjoy having it as part of OHA's collection.